You know, my picks will make you money. And if you want to make money, you follow my picks. NFL Week 11, doing something a little different this week, as you can tell. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, I use a website called The Lines when I uh, look at my picks. And I give them to you every week. So now you know. Tomorrow night's game at M&T Bank Stadium, we have the Baltimore Ravens given three and a half to the Cincinnati Bengals, rightfully so. Uh, both these teams coming off horrible losses. Uh, Bengals deserve to lose, and Baltimore lost a game they shouldn't have lost. And, uh, yeah, uh, of course I'm taking my Bengals, but it's going to be tough. Not undoable. But it's going to be tough. I like the Bengals at three and a half. And honestly, if you look at the first time they played the Ravens, they had every chance to beat them and they didn't. Once again, typical Bengals style, shooting himself in the foot, much like last week. Well, the defense sucks and uh, the offense line is terrible. But anyway, I already ranted on that. Not doing it again. So there you go. Give me the Bengals. Cleveland Browns, one-point favorite over the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, this kind of surprises me because we just now learned that uh, Deshaun Watson is out for the year with the surgery. So, with that being said, uh, I don't know who's going to start P.J. Walker or Dorian Thomas Jr., wh whatever the hell his name is. I like Pittsburgh Steelers. If Deshaun Watson was healthy and playing, I would take the Browns all day long. But, with that being said, P.J. Walker sucks, and uh, quite frankly, I think uh, Dorian Thomas, whatever the hell his name is, only played one game, and it was against the Ravens, and he looked terrible. But, in his defense, he was a rookie. So, I like the Steelers. Miami Dolphins giving 13 to the Las Vegas Raiders. I kind of disagree with this line. I think, you know, Las Vegas has got a new light under them. They're 2-0 under a new head coach, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's a new head coach. But anyway, uh, 13 points, I think that's quite a bit. I know Miami's the real deal, and I know their offense is elite, but I don't think the Raiders are going to win the game by any stretch of the imagination, but I do think they're going to cover that 13, so I like the Raiders with the points. Detroit Lions, give an 8 to the Chicago Bears. They Detroit all day long cover. Chicago's, well, we already know how I feel about them. Uh, Washington Commanders, given nine and a half to the Giants. Take Washington, the Giants are garbage. Uh, Jacksonville, coming off a horrible loss to the 49ers, given seven to Tennessee. Please, man, give them 14. They're going to roll Tennessee. Tennessee ain't no good. Ryan Tannehill or no Ryan Tannehill, doesn't matter. Levi's. Levies, whatever, rookie, and Jacksonville ain't going to get beat like that twice in a row. So take uh, Jacksonville. Dallas Cowboys, given 10.5 to Carolina. Take Dallas to cover. Carolina is garbage. Uh, Green Bay, get er, Chargers are three-point favorite at Green Bay. Come on, man. Chargers should beat this team easily. I know the Packers almost won last week, but I don't care. I'm taking the Chargers with points. Houston Texans, give it five to Arizona. Give me a break, man. Texans are going to roll Arizona. Give me the Texans with the points to cover all day long. San Francisco 49ers, give it 11.5 to Tampa Bay. San Francisco has proven one thing, that they are back and they are a force to be reckoned with. They just had a couple games slide, but you know what? That's probably what the kick in the ass the 49ers needed. They're going to roll Tampa Bay. Take Sam Fran. Seattle Seahawks giving one to the Rams. Take Seattle. LA Rams are done. Matt Stafford, it's time for you to move on. Time for new blood in Los Angeles. The Los Angeles Rams. But yeah, Seattle's the real deal. Take them. Buffalo Bills giving seven to the Jets. You know, I really don't know how to feel about this game, honestly. Because my instinct normally would be to take the Bills. But after last week, I ain't so sure the Bills can beat the Jets, to tell you the truth. I really don't. 
But I'm going to take them in this because they need to win. They desperately need to win. They needed to win last week, but they really need to win this week. If they lose this game, it's done. Buffalo will be done. And I'm going to go back to what I said. Madden curse. Uh, Josh Allen, how do you like being on the cover of Madden now? Denver Broncos. Here's a good game on Sunday Night Football, giving two and a half, surprisingly, to the uh, Minnesota Vikings. I'll tell you what, both these teams are on a winning streak, and uh, Minnesota looks real good with Josh Dobbs and the Denver Broncos on a three-game winning streak. They look like they're back in the hunt. Hey, a couple weeks ago, they were irrelevant. Now, guess what? They're relevant again. But that being said, I think uh, the Denver Broncos are going to come back down to earth, and I think the Minnesota Vikings, honestly are going to win this game outright. I just believe in Josh Dobbs. He's working real good in that system. And the Vikings got a good enough defense to slow Denver down. So I like uh, Denver. And finally, obviously the game of the week here, which everybody's been hoping for, uh, the Monday night game is the Kansas City Chiefs giving two and a half to Philadelphia. Guess what? <sighs> they did it to them in the Super Bowl, and they're going to do it again. Take the Chiefs. I just think the Chiefs are, I know that, listen, I know the Eagles are 8-1, and one, but it does not feel like they're the same team from last year. A lot of their wins this year, they got lucky. And Kansas City, it's crunch time, and we all know Kansas City in crunch time. Patrick Mahomes and company and Andy Reid, that home, they're going to get it done. Take the Eagles. Oh, oh my God. Take the Chiefs. The, actually, the Eagles might cover, but anyway. Yeah, I like the Chiefs. So there you have it, people. Your picks. I know I kind of ran through them this week, but yeah. Go Bengals.